Okay, we'll do our winners of the first round of the 2024 Michelin Le Mans Cup, and it's a first for high class racing in Michelin Le Mans Cup, so that's a good one. Also, for Jens Muller, he has set Michelin Le Mans Cup history by becoming the first driver to win a GT3 race and to win a LMP3 race in the, in the Michelin Le Mans Cup, so congratulations. Jens, we'll start with you. Um, talk us through that start, because it looked a bit chaotic with those two Virage cars cutting across in front of you. What, what happened and uh, how were your first few laps? Yeah, um, it's my first race in the LMP3. Um, so I made a, a good qualifying. So it was just to take a, a little bit easy on the first laps, and I saw that the two Rias Ria were very aggressive, and I just tried to find myself a gap, to, so, so I was not in any trouble. Um, and then I could overtake one of them again in turn three, and, and actually from there it was a very clean race, um, struggling a little bit to find out how much you can push the tires in the LMP3 and how much you have to push. Um, so. I learned a lot in, in my stint, and um, yeah, then the safety car, and again, the next we three, we pulled away, um, and then I was struggling a little bit to find the rhythm and, and using the tires, but at the end of the stint, it went well again, and leave the car for P3 for Tommy, and yeah, he just did a mega job. I'm, I'm so happy for he, him that what he did was fantastic. So you quite like this LMP3 lark then? Yeah, you know, when, when we did the GT, uh, we hated a little bit the slow LMPs, but I have to say it's a fantastic race car, and it's a very competitive championship, so I'm, I'm very happy to be back. Tommy, you took the car over, and you said you were, you were having a pretty good battle there, you know, um, with the 85 car. Talk us through that bit, because that pass was, um, I think, it, they had your teammate on the TV when you made that pass, so, and I think his face said it all. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I could see the traffic ahead and I just used my experience to, uh, to place the car and just make the most of it. Because around here to overtake is very tricky so you really have to capitalize. And um, I mean, it was a great race car. I was able to manage the front left tire which everyone knows around here is the worst thing when it, uh, when it dies. And then able to, to pull away after the safety car. I went into qualifying mode because I was told we may have a, uh, a penalty but I think we've, we've got enough to still take the win. Yeah, that, as I say, you seem, to, you seem to be like a rabbit out of the gate when, you, when that uh, safety car came in, because you were so having the 85 behind, I think you had a car between you, but even so, you were a rabbit out of the gate and you just pulled away. Um, so the car was good, the track was okay? The track was okay until, uh, until the marbles started to come in. If you went offline, it was really, really punishing. And uh, as the sun came down, it was tricky, but I had a great time. So 25 points for both of you on the thing. That's pretty good. And Le Castellet's next. What's your thoughts on that one? I've always gone well there. And uh, Jens is also as well. So I think we're going to carry this momentum on. We're going to build as a team and come out fighting again.